I have done it, my friends. I have deciphered the horrible, horrible guide to better continents and how to create your own Valheim worlds. And today I'm going to teach you how to use some third party software to recreate three Valheim world images to replace the ones on your existing world to have your own hand drawn fantasy Valheim world. And everything that I use, I will have the links for in the description below. So go ahead and start off by downloading the Better Continents mod. And now I'm going to be using Krita or Krita, however you say this, to create the images themselves instead of Photoshop because Photoshop, of course, has a monthly subscription. So we'll start off by making a 4,000 by 96 by 4,000 by 96 image. And then we will go ahead and fill the background layer in solid black. And now after you've done this, we can go ahead and create three groups above the background which will be the height map the biome map and the spawn map and these will just kind of be our placeholders for our three individual images that we're going to export at the very end of this process so for starters we're going to go ahead and open up the height map group now you are going to select inside here and duplicate two empty layers and fill them both in solid black and we're going to rename them the water edge mask and the actual height map now this is where it gets fun it's time to outline your entire map so whether you want a whole bunch of islands small islands big islands you want them all connected this is where you can get crazy with it just keep in mind that the opacity of the brush dictates the height because this is the height map so solid white equals mountain black equals sea level that's the that's the good standard to keep it going by so you, you could swap back and forth between white and black to add different variations in height and then at the very end, we'll come over with a blur to kind of smear it all together. That is, and the blur is optional, mind you. And you don't have to worry too much on adding river features right here while we're doing this, because you'll have time to come back and do that on the water edge mask. So right now, you want to just worry about the large height variations of your land masses. And now it's time to come back and just add a blur over top of it. There we go. Kind of just smear it all together. And now we'll have plenty of different height variation and we will avoid a lot of ridges and cliffs. Next, we're gonna duplicate this to create our land mask. So by duplicating the height map and renaming it to land mask, this will be the outline that will allow us to make rivers, lakes, and detailed waterfronts like beaches and coves and whatnot. So we're gonna select the, la the land mask layer that we just duplicated and use a small hard brush with 100% opacity and black paint to draw in any features you would like. Once you're done adding all your water features, you can add a threshold filter. And what this will do, it will, you pick the threshold and anything above will be white, anything below will be black. And this is where we can get the perfect outline of our map boom and now to create our water edge masks all we have to do is duplicate it and invert the color and now we have a water mask now to finish we have to convert both of these to transparency masks and apply them to the appropriate layers so we take the land mask and we convert it to a transparency mask and now we are going to apply this to the height map we take the water mask and apply it to the water edge layer that we had right above there all right so now we can use the layer styles function inside of Crytek to, to, to add like a drop shadow and bevels that way there's not huge cliffs right there at the water lines you kind of want these to taper off so if we add a little bit of darkness around the edges of the map to the edges of all the islands and the rivers it'll slowly taper off down towards the water once you're done with that that is all it takes to create your height map we are good to move on to creating the bio map so open the biome map group and create nine layers inside of it, all solid colors for our nine biomes by using the biome color chart slash swatch, which I have opened up in a separate document right here. If you need any of these documents, feel free to hop into the discord, the unknown discord down below. We'll hook you up with them in there, or you can just pause the video right here and take a snapshot if that's easier for you. But by using the eyedropper tool, we can switch back and forth and we can grab the appropriate color for each biome. Please do not go on a whim here. These are color coordinated, so you have to get the appropriate color for each one. Just use the ones that I'm using. And voila, there we have it. All nine biomes with all nine colors accordingly. Boom. So now we need to go back and duplicate our land mask. We need to duplicate the transparency mask from the height map so we can apply this to each biome. For the meadows, it is going to be on the bottom. This will be our base biome for every single island. So we'll turn the rest of them off. And there you go. As you can see, now we have the transparency filter over the meadows. 
and every island will will have a base layer of meadows on top of it so next we were going to do the mountains so by looking at our height map this is where we want the mountains to be so you have to keep that in mind and now we're just going to grab and we're going to erase everything off of this second transparency filter that i just duplicated again and now we'll grab that we'll convert it back to a transparency mask and throw it on top of the mountains there we go and as you can see i'm just going to keep modifying that mask that we made so i just keep copying the mask off of the height map and modifying it for each one of the biomes and slapping it back onto the map makes it kind of easy and you can then afterwards adjust the threshold of each individual mask that way you can sharpen and crisp you can crisp up the edges and we'll come back later and distort them a little bit but like i said you can repeat this with all the biomes you just go back to the height map and we copy the transparency mask off of it and then we edit it for each biome and apply it to one of the layers we created at the beginning allowing us to add a filter to every single biome in its own layer and then voila by the end you have all of your biomes picked on all of your islands but now you'll be able to go on and make your third and final image the spawn map now to be able to create the spawn map you'll have need you'll obviously need to have known where your biomes are going to be which is why we save this for last and this is a color coordinated process as well where we're going to use a spawn swatch that we have right here that you can grab a picture of and we are going to go through each layer and we're going to stay on the spawn map layer that we have created inside the spawn map group we're going to take the pixel brush and use a 10 pixel wide pixel brush and we're going to pick the spawns for the starter temple the ike there spawn the elder spawn bone mass motor so on and so forth all the burial chambers the sunken grips shipwrecks rune stones this is where you can kind of get freaky with it and put whatever you want on your starter island as you can see i kind of got just one big main starter island right here and i'm gonna put everything on one island the way that i feel valheim should have been done from the beginning which is have just one nice tight island i mean i'm so tired of running amok so you can do this however you like it and of course i wouldn't go over overboard with it and this is the part where you're gonna have to play with it because as you load your map in you're gonna have to watch your mod manager and make sure everything spawns right but at the end of this process this is the spawn map image isolated right here and we're just gonna go ahead and export this into its own little tester map folder because this is the first time that i have done all of this i've just deciphered a gnarly guide to be able to do this all right now we have our new folder we can save this in here as sm and we will just make sure we have force rgb on and we'll uncheck that one right there don't need that there we go now we have our spawn map saved and now we're just going to go through and isolate each one of these groups we'll grab the bio map all right we'll export this one by itself being sure making sure that we got a png and that we're going to save it bm into the tester map folder make sure force rgb is selected all right and now all we need is our height map so we'll turn off the bio map so now we're just going to do the height map the same way and voila we now have our three base images we need to load into valheim now remind you that you do need to have the bepinix configuration manager right this mod right here installed as well to be able to load your map in from configuration so loading up valheim making sure we have better continents bepinix and the bepinix configuration manager installed we can now hit f1 that'll pull up this menu right here and now we can see in the directory that we have to set our file paths now to get our file paths to these images that we want to replace we can right click on them if you're on microsoft of course mac i don't know you're gonna have to figure this out on your own we got google but <laughs> for the microsoft you can right click on it and go to properties and then you can see your location right here on your hard drive so you can copy that and then of course type in backslash file name dot uh, file type after your path so you can set up your image paths right here to your biome map your spawn map and your height map and as you can see there's a spot for the rough map in the forest map which is just more properties that you can adjust for your world be sure if you want more information on this full guide i mean on this full menu right here to check out the information in the description below there's a lot more than i can cover right there so now we're just going to go through and we're going to start a new world now the seed doesn't matter name doesn't matter you can name it whatever you like once you have your file paths in there and then you can go through and you can see yeah, there is a several presets you can select from pangea swirls 
vanilla-ish, you know, some very cool options that you don't usually get. But what we're after is from config, which is the images that we just created. So we're going to fire it up. And we'll just make sure everything is spawning in the way it's supposed to. <clears throat> At least the bosses. You can, so you can go through it. It'll tell you if the bosses are replaced or not, you know. So if you have issues with not finding things, you go through. Go back and look at your log files to see if it didn't place. And if so, you might want to consider moving your spawns around until you find something right. And voila, it is loaded. Now, as you can see, I may have dropped the ocean levels a little low. And we have sucked the 10th realm completely dry. <laughs> there is no oceans. But besides that... It would appear that the first map was a success now if you guys do run into any issues while you're doing this let me know join the discord hop in we can work through it together there is a lot to cover in this like i said there is an entire in-game console that allows you to generate and modify seeds from right inside of the game so that's a lot to cover in itself if you guys want to see another tutorial on the better continents mod just let me know don't forget to hit the like and subscribe because look at this graph it's fucking pitiful and it would be much appreciated if you helped me change it and with all that said i will catch you folks in the next one